So variables. A variable is a name that holds a value. Variables values can be numbers, strings, booleans, data types, and more. So I want to say, again, I like their definition. This, the definitions, the first couple of definitions I'm using are actually pretty good. It's just the later ones where they kind of, they're not as clear and stuff, right? But yeah, so I'm explaining each thing to you guys. I'm explaining numbers, strings, booleans, data types, and all that stuff, right? So a variable. Let me show you guys how to first create a variable. So I'm going to delete print hello world, right? So as you guys heard me say, a variable is a name that holds a value. The way we initialize or create a variable, a variable is we have to, you know, open a script. So uh, just insert a local script into starter player scripts, right? Into the local script, open it up, delete the print hello world, right? And then what we're going to do is we're going to type local. Here's how we initialize or create a variable. Then you want to put a space, right? <clears throat> because we're just letting the script know, okay, this is a variable. Then we're going to actually give it a name. So for the name of our variable, I don't know. Uh, I don't want to call it variable because then it's like, then it'd be like the variable's name is variable. Um, Let's call it var. Yeah, var for short. Okay. So this is our, this is our first variable, right? For short, it's, it's var. So the name of the variable is var, right? But we need to assign it a value because right now it's not equal to anything. So as I had mentioned, Val variables values can be numbers strings booleans data types and more now i'm going to explain what each one of those mean okay so to assign it a value you would click the equal sign then another space and then you would actually assign the value here's where you actually input the information for okay this is the value so first things first numbers that's pretty self-explanatory for numbers you know 1 12 123 doesn't matter um 34 right um, there can't be any spaces unless it's a text. Like you can't do like 34 like this. It has to be, you know, if it's numbers, it has to be all one thing. So 33, whatever, 10, right? Boom. So that's just numbers. So to explain this, right, we, we have ourselves a variable. Create, congrats, you've created your first variable. The name of the variable is var, right? And the value of the variable is 10, right? That's numbers. Now for strings. Strings is pretty much any type of text. Now, I just want to clarify something because I don't know if people get, get confused about this, but I just want to just set the record straight just in case. When I say text, I'm not referring to this. Like, I, I know, like, what we're typing, you know, we're typing on a keyboard and this is text. Now, this is text on a script. I'm actually referring to strings, right? That's why it's called strings and not text because strings is actual, like, inputted textual information, I guess. Now, the way you'll know it's a string is you have to use quotation marks then you input your text you can't say like say if you wanted for to be equal to the word wow you can't just put wow and so it's going to give you a syntax error because it's not how things work you have to use quotation marks and then type wow here's how you create um let's go here's how you create a string that's how you create a string right now say if you wanted to uh separate strings right like say if you wanted to call on like other pieces of information you can separate them by doing dot 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 then you could throw in another quotation marks, which would space that would it would space them out, right? And then you could you know keep going like that. You can't do like space that or that. You get you can't do that. You'd have to put a dot dot dot. But yeah, so that's string, simple text inside of quotation marks, right? Then we have booleans. Booleans is 50-50. It's either true or false, right? It's true or false. So false or true. That's simply what a boolean is, right? It's okay true yes false no it's, it's that simple really right um an example i guess would be like say if you wanted to see if like there were players in the game right you would have a variable that checks if whether or not uh a player has joined uh, upon the first player joining you would see if if the value is set to false if it's at the false you would set it to true that's just an example um then moving on we have data types now data types is really honestly it's the stuff i covered really strings numbers boolean and stuff because i don't really want to go into the other stuff because that might complicate things but really and truly for variables what you're really just going to be setting it to is uh strings numbers and booleans and stuff and putting like other information from like functions and stuff will be covered later on in the video and that really is later down the line for y'all but yeah so that's variables right so we've created our first variable. Um, I'm going to set it back to 10. I'm going to set it back to 10 what we had before, right? And now I'm going to go over weight 